<laughs> Welcome to the now. I'm Ashley. I'm Mika. We got fresh new batch of Cyberpunk 2077 rumors, oh, possible yeah. genre, where one of the levels might be set, maybe even a release date. Well, you know. Release window. Yeah. Still more than we had before. True. The next game from CD Projekt Red has drawn a lot of anticipation and has been in development for years now, but we haven't really gotten much concrete info about the game from the developer, aside from the occasional dry presentation to investors and the fact that it's called Cyberpunk 2077. But could be about to change very, very soon as some outlets are reporting the developers gearing up for a very big marketing push for the game, and that could begin as soon as E3 in June. Hmm, and that would be a really pleasant surprise to gamers. That'd be great. Yeah, considering that lots of people thought the game might not release until 2019 or 2020 or 2077. <laughs> <laughs> There's even been speculation that we'll have to wait until the next generation of consoles to be able to play it, and who knows when those are happening. 2019, 2020, probably. Oh, yeah, fair, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what we've heard. Uh, this rumor centers around the fact CD Projekt Red is currently sitting on a big old pile of cash. Oh. According to the Polish investor site Strefa Investorov, the studio isn't paying dividends to its shareholders for the current financial year. Now, that's a big change from last year where it gave its shareholders a nice little payout of about $30 million. Yeah, The Witcher 3 just keeps on raking in that sweet, sweet bearded cash. It's all Adam Ellis is doing. <laughs> probably. Hence the bearded The bearded. Cash. Yeah. But the the reason that CD Projekt Red isn't paying a dividend to shareholders this year is because they've got other plans for all of that money. Mm, the investor side says they're going to be using the money for a promotional campaign for Cyberpunk 2077. Mm. And if that campaign is going to kick off this year, that could mean the release of the game is way sooner than anyone thought. Yeah. We're all expecting that CD Projekt Red will reveal the game at E3, which is, wow, less than two months away. <laughs> and word is that there could even be a, ooh, a playable demo of the game that will be shown off to journalists in closed showcases. That would be great. That would be so fun. But if the developer's launching a marketing campaign for the game this year and doing a big old push, that's a very strong indicator an actual release date could be coming up soon, because that's typically when they spend most of the money. Right. Oh, and apparently for this game, CD Projekt Red is funding all the marketing itself, as opposed to you know, borrowing it, like they did for The Witcher 3. Which makes sense, considering the studio is making a lot of money these days. It made nearly $200 million last year, which is pretty impressive for what, I mean, it's essentially is an indie studio. It's yeah. a very big indie studio. It's very successful, but they are self-developed, self-published. Mm -hmm. It also means that they'll be able to keep more of the profits that Cyberpunk 2077 makes in sales, so it's an indicator that they have a lot of confidence in this game. All right, so that's one rumor. And again, nothing's been confirmed yet. Meanwhile, another Polish outlet, this one is a gaming site called Game Pressure. They've released a few more details about Cyberpunk 2077 and its gameplay. Game Pressure, citing an anonymous source at CD Projekt Red, says that the game will be a first-person shooter, possibly with lots of RPG elements. Interesting, okay. Mm. The site went on to say, our source also confirmed that both CD Projekt Studios, based in Warsaw and Krakow, are hard at work with the latter currently focusing on a fragment of the game, the action of which will take place on the moon. The game is supposed to be fast-paced, and one of the features that the studio is working on is wall running, similar to the one we already saw in Titanfall games. These are some interesting details, and it's already a lot more than CD Projekt Red has said publicly about the game. So much more. <laughs> and aside from some promotional images, the developer hasn't really divulged a whole lot about Cyberpunk 2077, other than it's going to be a single player game, it'll be class based in nature, and it won't have microtransactions or a predefined character like in the Witcher games. Now earlier this year, CEO Adam Krasinski was asked about rumors that the game could be a next gen title. And to that, he responded, well, the next gen hasn't been announced yet, so we can only speculate. Cyberpunk is very advanced. Our technology is ready to interface with future generations. The the game is developed in such a way that it can use future very powerful hardware, but I cannot tell you more about that today as no future generational consoles have been announced so far. So that got people thinking that we might not see it anytime soon, which would be a bit of a bummer. Right, they're like the, that basically launched a lot of speculation that maybe it was gonna be a generation bridge. Mm. So kind of like you got with GTA V, where right. it released on the last generation of consoles and then the next generation of consoles. Of course, these are hardly the first rumors and leaks to surface about Cyberpunk 2077. There have been a lot of them because, yeah. I wonder if it's mostly because the studio's just not talking <laughs> a lot, so everyone else is talking about them instead. Uh, but they've been really rampant. There have been a lot of them too have also been debunked. Yeah, previously it was reported that the game would have multiplayer component thanks to the mention of multiplayer technology in some grants that CD Projekt Red applied for. Last year, a YouTube show called The Mad Queen Show claimed the game will feature a social hub that will be integrated with the game's single player and multiplayer modes. According to the YouTuber, the hub will be like having a Twitter app or something like that in the game where you can find other players to interact with. 
When asked about the possibility of multiplayer, Kaczynski said that for now, the company is focused on delivering a fantastic single player experience similar to The Witcher 3. He did say though, that multiplayer could be added in post launch via expansions or DLC. As far as the release date of the game, uh, we, there have been so many rumors all over the place. Back in 2016, <laughs> one Swedish retailer put up a listing for Cyberpunk 2077 that was dated for September 30th, 2017. Huh. That obviously didn't happen. Unless we all just missed it. Yeah, and then there were the latest things with it being maybe a generation bridge, so that's where the 2019-2020 came from. Right. Now we've got potential marketing campaigns saying so, maybe that's either late this year, early next year. Yeah, maybe they'll pull a Fallout and drop it right after E3, but... Oh, that was a great move for Fallout was. to do. I know a lot of people have sort of, you know, polarized opinions about whether Fallout was worth the excitement <laughs> or anything, but that was still a pretty bold move of Bethesda to, to take, mm -hmm. and if CD Projekt does that for this game, that'd be awesome. Pretty dope. Although, can you consider it an announcement? They've announced the game already. Fair. Either way, fun time around for us gamers. So we will see if the latest Bachelor rumors turns out to be true. The good news is that E3 is, yikes, just around the corner, you guys. Plus, we're already a quarter of the way into 2018. So if they're planning a big marketing campaign for Cyberpunk 2077, it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. And look, it would be really cool to see them just turn up, bam, here it is. By the way, you'll be playing it in two months. Or I'd like to see Oprah that. and throw it to everybody in the audience. You get a cyberpunk and you get a cyberpunk. Or, yeah, the joke will come true and we won't see it till 2077. Yeah. It's really one it's, or the other. It's 50-50 chance. <laughs> what do you guys think about these rumors about Cyberpunk 2077? Let us know in the comments. And for all of your Cyberpunk 2077 and CD Projekt Red news, including a game that's hopefully a cyberpunk game and won't come out in 2077, <sighs> be sure to like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the know. According to the Polish investor site Strafe in, in According to the Polish investor site Strafe Investro. It also means that they'll be able to keep up more of the profits that Cyberpunk our source also confirmed that both CD Projekt Studios based in Warsaw and I now know this is not pronounced Krakow. I just don't know what it is.